Let's uh, turn this down as much as I can. Cool beans, cool beans. All right, so today we're doing upper body workout. Our first block is gonna have Maltese's, reverse crosses, planges, and invert pushes. Um, we're gonna do that three times, and then we're gonna move on to our second block, which will be weighted pull-ups, uh, Cuban presses, ice creamers, physio ball push-ups, butterfly presses, dumbbell flies, and then palm down bicep curls. So we got an action-packed day today. Uh, this morning I actually did my warm-up, um, which I've done every day. So if you guys don't know what it is by now uh, and you need a reference, just go check out the previous videos. But I uh, figured I'd warm up in the morning and then get like the hard workout going today uh, a little bit later so I can have like my two-a-days. So I'm just testing this out to see how that goes. But how you doing, Brian? Hope everything's going well for you. You having a wonderful Sunday so far, keeping it mellow, keeping it chill? At least I hope so. It's uh, Sundays are definitely meant to just, you know, recoup and get ready for the week. So I'm, I'm doing that myself. Hope you guys are too. Well, with that being said, we're just going to start off. We're going to get these Maltese pushes going first. Uh, we are going to grab the 15ers. Hold on, let me grab the ball. We're going to do a little variation here where I'm going to be supported on this for a little balance with it as well and what up Harv is how are you doing today hope everything's going well so this is the first exercise we're gonna have oh let me push this back just a little bit <laughs> all right we're gonna pull our hips up we're gonna squeeze the butt we're gonna have the our elbows up we're gonna turn them out we're gonna hollow in our chest let them fall down touch the ground and then we're gonna pull them up squeezing our lats triceps and pecs and biceps with it and we're going to do this 10 times three four five and you notice the eccentric on the way down nice and slow controlled Wait, I think that was six. I'm losing count. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Woo. All right, I like it. Yeah, that's a good glute exercise as well, actually. <laughs> And how's Milan feeling today? Yeah, she's all recovered. She's good to go. So no complaints there. Uh, she's been healthy for a while, though. So uh, appreciate you checking in with her. And Brian, you finished your book today. Oh, hold on, guys. I got to move to the multi-stream. Forgot to do that again. I'm so bad at that. Three minutes in. Three minutes in. I swear I didn't catch anything. But what up, Inez? Tim? Gilda? Brandon? How are you guys all doing? Yeah, the pups are nice and chilled right now. We didn't go for a run today, but we did play out in the backyard for a good amount of time. And uh, yeah, they're being very good, very good. And grab your kids and enjoy, Sam. Yeah, well, I definitely, I'm definitely enjoying my time with them. And how you doing, Luna? Isaac, hope everything's going well for you. And no worries, glad I can uh, help, uh, help get you guys pumped during these uh, chill Sundays. All right, so I said first was gonna be our Maltese work. Now we're gonna do our reverse crosses. And I'm gonna grab Eh. Let's see. I'll do I'll do 15s. Let's see how these go. I feel like I've been need to go up and wait for a while. I think I did this last time. So one, we're gonna do ten of these. Two, making sure you're getting uh, try you're not coming forward like this. That's bad. You want to keep it behind you as much as you can. Five, six. Try to keep a tight core with it. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, all right. There you go. Getting the muscles built for the crosses. Getting the backs of the shoulders going. So gotta keep that. Gotta keep those firing. Get that balance going. And oh my God, look at her derpy face right now. Yeah. <laughs> Lily's got her dirt face. I love it. Yeah, look at all this squish. I gotta go squish her real quick. <gasps> Hi, squishy. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Woo. <laughs> 
Barney woke up in his sleep and hit his head on the window. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Brian, you finished the book? Nice! How did it all come along? Was it everything you were hoping for? <laughs> and, uh, great news from yesterday. You wished your son good luck and he placed first in four events? What? Tell him I said congratulations. That's huge! Starting the year off strong right there. Alright, uh, next we've got our planned work. So... Today, we're going to start with the physio ball plange leans. I'll turn them out because Coach Jordan told me I should. And then you're going to hollow. Lean as far as you can. Come back. Really getting that turtle back. That's three, four. You know what? I'm going to bring these in a little closer too. Maybe a little more realistic. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. All right. I like that. I like that. And good workout. Yeah. Hold on. Starting to, starting to get sweaty now. Got the good warm up going. Woo. Make sure I can take a second to. Recoup, take a swig, and uh, have a great workout. Watching slash yelling for the Saints right now. Well, hopefully they do well. I uh, haven't really been on my football grind in a while, so I'm kind of out of it. But and Martin, today's your day, uh, last day of quarantine. Respect. You uh, you have legit saved my home workouts. Uh, I'm glad I was able to help you out, Martin. Last one for you today. I got one more week of this, and then well, I'll probably take Christmas off, but. <laughs> So yeah, we're getting we're getting to be coming down to the wire for my quarantine as well. But glad you're able to get into a gym tomorrow. That's awesome, awesome news. Oh, and how does it feel to be named Mr. Elegance? Um, I don't know if I've ever have I been named Mr. Elegance. I, I don't mind the the compliment, that's for sure. But <laughs> uh, I don't know if I've heard that one before. <laughs> it's never a bad thing to be elegant, I guess though. And I. Uh, your boys team had to do those squeezing with a small weight in ankles. Yeah, no, it's good exercise. Good exercise for sure. And uh, Juanjo, thank you for tuning in all the way from Mexico. And your book was everything you could have hoped for? Awesome. Well, hey, glad you're able to get some time completing that story. Um, yeah, that's just great. It's a nice way to spend your time and you know do it in a positive way. So respect, Brian. All right, next we got our invert pushes. I am not yet strong enough to do them with the 15, so we're gonna go with the 10s. But same thing on this. You wanna try to go behind your back, keep your shoulders down, long neck, and really feel everything in the shoulder blades. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and then you're gonna hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, first round done. We'll get this going on the next one. And, uh, hey, Brandon, congrats to him for sure. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is some big stuff he's getting done right there. All right, so we got first round done. Getting those elbows moving. I gotta, I gotta ice these after, after today. But feeling good, feeling good today. And then, of course, little Lily just melting my heart over here. Look at that sweetie face. I know, I know. You're so cute, and you know you're shy. You're so shy, aren't you? Ah, oh, but she's so cute. And uh, oh, the long, yeah, the long jeans uh, prize for elegance. You're right, you're right. I forgot about that. That is elegance. Sorry. In my mind, it's just long jeans prize for some reason. I always forget the elegance part, but honestly, it feels really cool. That was a very awesome award to get, obviously, and just to be recognized when that World Championships wasn't the World Championships that I wanted, but to be appreciated nonetheless really, uh, really was dear to my heart. So very, very happy about that one. All right, next, I'm going to fire those glutes again. Let's get these Maltese's hit. All right. So here we go. Fire the glutes, toes up, here, hollow, E 
eccentric lower, pull up, one. We'll hit the crosses and uh, we're going to see the tree where you live in Pennsylvania. Come out and see it sometime. It's a musical, beautiful, or playing beautiful tree. Come out and see it. I wish I could, but it's a little far for me, unfortunately. And I'm pretty much stuck in my home, <laughs> so that's all right. And yeah, Brian, uh, Barney was all right when he hit his head, he just uh, bonked himself and then was back to normal, just freaked him out for a sec. My gosh, I swear. She is just fiending for attention right now. I know. I know. She's my workout partner today. You're giving me the motivation. I almost didn't do it today, guys. Like, the dogs were so cuddly. Like, I just couldn't get up from the couch. They, like, pinned me down. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Time's flying by. It's, like, almost 3 o'clock here. And I was like, all right, finally... They like, I came up here because they went and barked at someone and then they've been super mellow. I was like, all right, all right I can get this done now. <laughs> and uh, you do gymnastics right and right now we're doing flyaways off high bar. You're scared. Do you have any advice? Oh uh, yeah, just get your coach to slide the mat. That's going to be the best way for you to build confidence because even if you do hit the bar, you know you're going to be all right. And therefore you can try new things and be comfortable with experimenting with what's right and wrong and then you'll be the, or confident enough to take the mat away at a certain point and have a good rest of your day thank you martin i appreciate that um and i can't wait till you post more gym content that was some amazing stuff anyhow you need to go to bed no worries dude yeah, i can't wait to get back in the gym too and you're having chinese for dinner and the rest of the family is having mexican well hey sounds like you know what you want <laughs> sounds like a good way to go i think i'm gonna be doing some Mexican tonight. I'm gonna, actually, no, I'm doing I'm doing sesame pork bowls tonight. That's what I'm doing. So I'm looking forward to that. But time to hit these reverse crosses. Ten of them. Fifteen in each hand. I think this is four. Five. Pinch those shoulder blades. Keep the shoulders down. Seven. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Ten. Hold for ten. One. Two. Three, four, I'm gonna give you guys a spin. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa! I guess that's a new little challenge for that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Alright. Huh, Lily. It's definitely definitely a good little elbow, elbow strength in yours right there. I know you thought I was West Coast? No, I'm actually uh, mountain time, so just one hour ahead of them. And uh, what age did I start gymnastics? When I was two? Both my parents were gymnasts at uh, Cal Berkeley, and I started doing those mommy and me classes at Scott's Huntington Beach. Uh, and uh, I remember, I, th I mean, I don't remember those classes, but I took like a little break for like six months and then asked to go back. And then this was the first day I actually remember doing gymnastics. I had like separation anxiety from my mom, and I cried like as she was leaving me. And it was for summer camp. And then I remember at the end of the day, I just never wanted to leave. So, uh, you know, kids can be crazy sometimes. And I was definitely one of them. And if you're ever in the UK, uh, you'd like to come see you guys at Huntington Gymnastics Club, I would love to be there. That would be so cool. I just, I would love to be in the UK at some point in time. It'd be so much fun. And uh, well, you coach at Scats after clinics, nothing permanent. Oh, nice. Hey, that's not a bad way to go. Yeah, Skets is the Skets is the beginning of Sam and Kulik right there. We had some good times. All right, let's see, guys. I might. Uh, 
trying to think. Maybe I could try something new here. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna try something new. I, I just got the I just got a vibe for trying it. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna just be bouncing our feet the whole time, but we're gonna be doing it through our shoulders and like our core. We're gonna try keeping this tight and hollow, but just by leaning, are we going to pick our uh, our feet off the ball and just continually bounce there? One. guys if you're if you're working along <laughs> and uh what up eugene how are you doing i'm doing well oh L lily's just begging for more love guys what hi baby hi mm, thank you thank you oh you're being so lovey oh thank you thank you so much you're so cute I know, you're jealous too, aren't you, Barney? I love all you guys. I promise. Mm. Yes. Uh, honestly, the, the biggest distractors in the world. You know what? I'm going to keep it. Keep the camera angle like this so the dogs can, dogs can be in view. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you love that drill? It's good. It's good, right? Uh, yeah, I was, I'm a big fan of that. Have I ever been to Poland? No. But, you know, that, the whole world is on my bucket list at this point. <laughs> and what brand of high bar grips do I use? I use the Hambukens. Uh, shout out to my boy Fabian out in Germany. And are you still going to be doing the clinics for kids? Yeah, as soon as it's safe to do them. Uh, we'll be getting back on that. And uh, doing the workout now? Awesome. Let's get it, Eugene. And you tried that from the couch. Bad idea at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lily needs another buddy, or your dog Willie needs another buddy. Yeah, that could could get in the way sometimes. And what up, Samuel? It's good to have another Samuel up in the chat. And Sam and Lily are too cute together. Can anyone agree? I hope so. I think she takes the she takes the cake though. All right, so I did planges. I need to do invert pushes. All right, we're gonna hit this next round. You know what? Maybe I'll try this one sitting down for a little more core stability. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 10 second hold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, maybe I'll do the 15s next round. I think that was too easy for me. And uh, what do we got? You know that there is COVID, but you should talk to Niall Wilson. Uh, I mean, I would definitely like to. I'm not, I'm not sure where he's at either. Is he locked down or is he able to train? Uh, but either way, I mean, he's always a funny guy to interact with. And hello from Romania. Good to see you. Um, with Togan, appreciate you tuning into the stream right now. Hope everything's going well in Romania. Uh, are you a gymnast as well? Training? In lockdown? What's going on with you? All right, and uh, all right, guys, I think on this one, I'm gonna do a little something different for the Maltese's on this one too. This is our third exercise, but we're gonna be doing circles one way and the other. We're gonna go 10 each way while we're holding this Maltese position on the physio ball for core stability as well. All right, so up, squeeze the glutes, turtle, hold, and then do your circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then go in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten second hold. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! There we go. Yeah, that was a good little mix up for them all, that's for sure. And, uh, and uh, is your upper body strength workouts you do 
at the gym similar to today's workout? Well, as similar as I can get it. <laughs> uh, this is supposed to mimic ring strength. So, you know, it's very minimal compared to actual ring strength. However, trying to hit the positions in a way that will help transition me once I do get back in the gym. But we're getting there. And yeah, Brandon, she's feeling, she's feeling a lot better. I mean, she's 100% healed and no worries with the COVID anymore. She's been good for a little while. About a, about a week now she's been good. Ugh. And uh, uh, you're not a gymnast, but you saw Larissa Irodorce uh, became a double European champion. Yeah, I did see that. Been seeing a lot of uh, results on her and a lot of other people at World Champ or European Championships. It's good to see her back, honestly. She was, uh, she was like a firecracker back in the day uh, when she got second at Worlds and you know she tore that Achilles and now it's good to see her back and healthier than ever and you know really pulling out some big results. So proud of her for that and uh, proud of a lot of people for killing it. Uh, <laughs> so that's a very exciting competition to be watching right now. And your dog just got bonked with the ball. Oh, I totally missed that. <laughs> it's all right, I don't think he cared that much. He's just, he's hugging it right now. <laughs> and Amelia, sorry if you missed this already, but have you tested positive yet for COVID? When can you go back to the gym? I have not tested positive, negative once. I'm still waiting on my results from Thursday, um, but I don't think I have it. But I'm able to go back in the gym the 27th, so the week after Christmas. So one more week, and then we'll be ready to get it. All right, so we're going to hit reverse crosses for another round. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we're gonna do circles. Two, three, four, five. Switch one, two, three, four, five. Woohoo! Really like the circle work. Took a while for me to kind of start experimenting with that. Um, all right, and uh, oh, hey, you're doing some court. Yeah, she's all good. She is all good. No complaints on her part. She's happy. She's happy with where she's at. Healthy, um, but you know, living her best life. That's for sure. And will you continue to make uh, any videos after returning to the gym? Yeah, I'm gonna post gymnastics videos. Not sure how it's going to work for the first couple weeks because we're going to be at Air Force and we don't have our video uh, system set up. So I might just have to like do little diary vlogs for the first couple weeks and then I'll be able to get some film once we go back to the training center January 14th or 15th. So that's uh, what we got in store for us today. And uh, you coach Jade Carey a little in Arizona and now she's going to Oregon State. No Olympics? Oh, really? I did not think that was going to happen. She like pretty much already made the team. Um, wait, is she competing this season for Oregon? That's kind of crazy. I figured she'd wait at least one more year. And uh, Amelia, uh, you're working and you're working out even on a Sunday. Yeah, no breaks, no breaks. Uh, I gotta lose. I gotta keep in shape as much as I can because this is nothing compared to uh, actual gymnastics workouts. And uh, this is Connor, your level nine gymnast. What is your favorite meet? Uh, our favorite event? High bar, high bar. <laughs> and uh, hey Dylan, how are you doing? And uh, you're not sure? Do confused? Uh, you might have, to, you might need to retype that one, Brandon. And is the Olympic Committee or whatever their name still doing 2021 Summer Olympics? That they are, Jonathan. Everything's still a go right now. So getting ready for that. This is really, I guess this is really where it's starting again. <laughs> The at-home quarantine workouts. All right, so then I did. I need to do my plan just one more time. And uh, let's do our third variation with the kickouts. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Woo hoo! All right, we got that going. All right, planges. 
we got our invert pushes. Um, oh. You were hoping there, uh, hoping to hear something different. Not trying to rumor. Oh yeah, I, I you're all right. If anyone's got any information on it, it beats me. I haven't heard anything at least. All right, let's get these invert pushes. We're gonna try the 15s this time. Hold on. Lily's begging for more love. Oh, Barney, stealing the show. No, let me just get Lily. Thank you. Thank you. Am I working out so hard and you're proud of me? You're so proud of me? Working out on a Sunday? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, invert pushes, guys. And uh, what's your highest value skill on an event? It's a casino for a G value. All right, this is uh, gonna be a doozy. 15s for the invert pushes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Uh, compromising form a little bit. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Woo hoo hoo! All right, we got through it now. It wasn't pretty. Started getting a little shoulder shruggy in that one. And uh, green eggs and Sam, you know it. I actually have never had green eggs before. Not even on St. Patty's Day. And uh, when's the big date? Uh, we're thinking um, in about, shoot, what's, in about, one year and 11 days. <laughs> That's the big date. And uh, thank you for doing this. No worries, Brandon. My pleasure. And I'm going to do it anyway, so I might as well put it out there, right? <laughs> um, all right, so next we've got weighted pull-ups, Cuban presses, ice creamers, physio ball push-ups, butterfly presses, dumbbell flies, and palm down bicep curls. And we're going to kind of try going through this fast. Um, these aren't as... Uh, I mean, they're, they're difficult, but I think getting more of that cardio uh, with the upper body is going to be a good uh, good point of fatigue for us to hit. So we're going to move this right there. And then, hi, bud. I know, I know. Um, maybe I don't need to go that high. There we go. That should be good because then you guys can see everything. And uh, Brian, you're going to go read your books because uh, we, we got to leave by 6. To go to the tree. See ya. I'll crack you up, Eric. All right, have a good one. Brian, thank you for tuning in as always. We'll catch you later. And uh, in your high bar giants, you almost or keep almost making it to the top and falling over. Is there a strategy to make it over? Shift later, watch your toes longer, and keep hollow longer. You're probably falling over because you get a little loose in your back and your shoulders and your butt, and then uh, your weight ends up staying on this side of the bar rather than forcing it this way. But I think shifting late really helps you keep that hollow because it's hard to be here and here. But usually you shift early and then your chest comes up. So if you keep this longer through here and then shift once you're already over the bar, you're going to be good to go. And is there any event that scares you? I, I wouldn't say it's like scary, but uh, you know, I think the probably like hot or no, no, the one that scares me is probably like horse, like more mental of like I don't want to fall but not necessarily danger but I guess that's probably the most nerve-wracking event if I had to pick one um, all right with that being said let's hit our weighted pull-ups and we're gonna throw this bad boy on with some shoes oh, where's my shoes there's my shoes and uh, there we go Throw them on. We're gonna hit about, I wanna say, maybe we'll do 10 of them in this grip. And we'll just go with a pretty fast tempo, not going for the eccentric right now. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice, nice.
choice. All right, after that, we have our Cuban presses. We'll gents cruise through this, generally smooth. All right, this one's definitely cha more challenging than it looks, but really good for uh, the back of the shoulders. I got 10 pound weights and that was two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, I'll do it to the side. One, two, wait, no, two, three, four, five. There we go. Oh, yeah. Always a good exercise right there. And, uh, Horse is a boy's nemesis. It, yeah, it's a uh, yeah, beam for the girls. Always the case. Those two, well, I think, will stand the test of time. <laughs> and how do you overcome fear of a new big skill? I mean, do it with as many safety measures as you can. Make sure you're really confident in the basics and uh, so that when you go for it, you don't compromise technique. So whatever way you need to do to get there, sometimes you just need to count one, two, three, go. And that's a good way to go too. I've used that many times in my past. But just being very, very confident in your basics. And you finally made it. YouTube didn't give me the notification you were streaming. That's all right. You made it here nonetheless. Good to have you in here, Zed. And uh, do you meditate before your workouts? I, I used to. I haven't for a while. And I've been spotty with it recently. But uh, something I think I need to start doing more. So maybe at the end of this, uh, I'll, uh, I, I should probably meditate. I need to do it. You're right. You're right. And uh, you dented shins, build character, gotta love the horse. Yeah, I've got some ugly shins, guys. I've learned a lot of lessons. <laughs> and uh, what do you think of how country... Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Barney. I didn't see you. I'm sorry. Did I, did I didn't step on you, did I? Did I just bump you? Did I scare you? Oh, this is his method of getting attention. He stands where I am, <laughs> and then I'll hurt him, and then he's like, oh yeah, no, now I get love, because you, you stepped on me. It's all right. Thank you, Barney. And hello, Courtney. How are you doing today? What do you think of how countries can possibly send two extra gymnasts as individuals to Tokyo? I mean, I get the method um, for individual event specialists, but I can't say I've been a fan of how this, uh, this selection process has gone for this uh, quadranium. Prefer the previous quadraniums more. And on P-bars, you're learning, learning Diamidov. That's a very good skill to have. Leads to many other skills as well. So hopefully that's going well for you. And uh, you're Connor, not Courtney. All right. The name, the name threw me off a little bit. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, but I will, <laughs> I'll try to call you Courtney. You're on your mom's phone. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. All right, so next we have our ice creamers and then physio ball push-ups. So, actually, you know what? I feel like, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, the ice creamers are good. I just don't want to move this guy, but I, I don't think I need to. I think I'll just miss it. So we're going to do 10 of these, and you're just going to level out to a front lever and then pull back in. Keep it tight core the whole time. One. Ten of them down. All right, next we got our physio ball push-ups. We're gonna hit twenty of these with the weight vest. Um, sorry guys, can I use use this spot? Thank you. And <laughs> thank you, Barney. Thank you very much. <laughs> Look out, bud. I gotta do some push-ups. One, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Woohoo! Right, that's some good stuff there. Next, we're gonna do butterfly presses. They're back on the physio wall. Look at Barney. So you're gonna, well, maybe I'll flip this way. There we go. Press the hips up, squeeze the glutes, slight bend. Try to go down as far as you can. Press back up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Barney, <laughs> ten. All right. Yeah, let's do ten of those for now. Woo. All right. And, uh, so Lily's the retriever, Barney's the other blonde dog, who's the sleepy in the back, that's Marshall. He's a bull terrier. But yeah, he is definitely out. He is so, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> video editing is time consuming as heck. Yeah, Dylan, I tried video editing my first YouTube videos, and I just was like spending way too much time on it, which is why I started doing lives, because it was much less <laughs> editing work. Oh, actually no editing work, so that was, that's kind of nice. <laughs> And how many gymnasts do you think should be able to represent a country uh, at the team final, ideally? I mean, I would honestly like to see uh, like five to six. I think any one of those two makes sense. Um, the less it is, the more likely um, the teams with less depth have to medal. Um, but you're going to see a lot crazier gymnastics with specialists involved in the team if you have six guys on the team. So some part of me likes the excitement of that. So I'd probably say six is my ideal situation. But I know, I think they started dropping it down because time-wise they weren't happy that gymnastics was taking like four hours to get through uh, on the men's side. <laughs> and uh, what else we got? And thanks for the advice on the Giants and Flyway. Came across your channel this morning. Hope to watch more. Awesome. Yeah, we got one more week of these at-home workouts. So hopefully we'll be seeing you more often. <laughs> and you'll be back. It finally stopped raining in Oregon. Got to take your crew of five fur babies for a walk. Yeah. yeah, get rid of that cabin fever. You guys need to get out of the house. They definitely need it. Um, is that if humans and dogs could communicate, life would be so much better? Oh, I don't know. They do a pretty good job of communicating. I'll say that, though. Even though they can't, they still somehow do. And, but that would be pretty awesome if they could. <laughs> Have you seen the movie Up? That's true, yeah. That, maybe we don't want to know what's going on in their heads. Just, squirrel! Squirrel! Yeah? <laughs> Did you hear squirrel? <laughs> and Mia, hello from the whole family. We're all watching you on different phones. Nice! Presley! Yeah, you got everyone, the whole crew, huh? Well... <laughs> Appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Nothing too crazy going on right now, but sounds like you guys got a lull in your day as well. And Jonathan, you actually got one more question. How many grips have you gone through? I mean, in my whole life, I mean, we're probably up in like the 30s. Um, but I think I'd go through about like, probably like three or four a year. But that's, that sounds about right. And hello, whole family. <laughs> Wish I could be there celebrating with you guys, but... I know you guys are having a grand old time, so I'll just be jealous over here doing my lonely at-home workouts with the dogs is my only company. But they're good company. You guys are a good company. All right, so the next exercise we got, uh, we did physio all push-ups, butterfly presses. We have dumbbell flies and a palm down bicep curl. So take the 15s. Actually, no. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll take the 15s. You're going to want to hit an RDL type position, slight knee bend, butt back, pinch the shoulder blades, pull the elbows, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now we're gonna do our palm down bicep curls. Now will be the first round completed of our second block. We're gonna go up, slow on the way down for two. One, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, two, nine, one, two, ten. All right, first block done. It's good stuff there. Take a quick break. Then we got back to our weighted pull-ups and Cuban presses. And you're all at the same table, and we all have a delay, so we're here, and you say everything at three times. That's so crazy. All three have different types of delay. When you're in the exact same place, that's so funny. <laughs> um, what up, Fernando? Hope every hope you're doing well. And Jake, you're awesome to watch. You did tumbling and cheer, but was nothing even close to you. That's all right, man. Everyone's got their own level of hard that they gotta strive for. And you're awesome to watch. Oh, <laughs> I'm reading it again. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right, so next we're gonna hit our. Where's the vest? Got a vest. Weight vest, we're gonna do. So last time we did pull ups in the under grip. This time we'll do them in the over grip and we'll hit 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got right into our Cuban presses. Ten of them as well with the ten pound weights. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, whew, nine, backs of the shoulders are dying right now. All right, that was a good first couple exercises. And Nathan, do you have any advice for taller gymnasts? I'm six foot and it feels like gymnastics is so much harder, especially on the swing events. Yeah, you definitely have a disadvantage there, but if anything, you can capitalize on your length on pommel horse the most. So you could, you could really, or you have more advantage there uh, than all the other shorter guys. So if anything, take advantage of that. And I've still seen some tall guys do some Really good vaults, really good P-bars and high bar. Um, I've even seen tall guys on rings, even though that's not characteristic, but they got some good leverage, so that's kind of a big, big advantage. But it's not impossible. You just gotta push through and strategize differently than other, other shorter gymnasts. And uh, Courtney, or Connor, you met at the OTC at Future Star Nationals last year. Awesome! Just glad to have you out here. Uh, wish we could have that competition again, but Unfortunately, we can't. And Marlon, thank you very much. Appreciate you saying that and being here. And you're actually allowed to raise the bar in or high bar in jail. Well, yeah, that's that needs to happen. If you're hitting the mat every time, that's unfortunate. That's just you know they got to change the rules for you. And so lucky to watch the greatest gymnast training every day. Nah, don't flatter me like that. I'm 
there's more, there's greater gymnasts than me out there. <laughs> but I appreciate the sentiment e either way. All right, but we're gonna move on to our next exercise. We got the ice creamers into the physio ball push-ups and butterfly presses. We're gonna throw this guy back on. We're gonna do our 10 ice creamers. Oh. All right. All right. push-ups, elbows in, hollow back, stabilize on the body, tight core, touch the chest, push up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew. Let's hit these butterfly presses, 15s. Let's get back just a little bit. All right. Squeeze the butt. Slight bend. Extend and push. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. All right. Next, we got our dumbbell flies and bicep curls. We'll be all done with today's workout. I'm gonna take a second, catch my breath. Oh. And too bad P-bars isn't that way. Yeah, I know. They're kind of limited on P-bars. They haven't made the notches bigger or put more in there, that's for sure. So, yeah, you're, you're definitely at a disadvantage there. And, uh, yeah, they definitely need to fix that. And you're doing it with your friends at home? Awesome. Appreciate you, Elias, doing the workout with us. Hope it's treating you well. Hope you're getting what you want out of it. I know I am, at least. Keeping me, keeping me busy somehow. I've been pretty bored today, actually. Really haven't known what to do. I've been like obsessed with playing this game RuneScape for like 12 years now, and like I quit last night. <laughs> and so now I'm like, oh, what do I do with my time? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's uh, that's a different issue. <laughs> but I've, I tried reading a little bit more today, so I got some of that done. Did a little bit of Spanish, and then just did a lot of scrolling, which I felt ashamed of. And I think that's why I came and started the workout, because I was like, oh gosh, I've been on my phone way too long doing absolutely nothing. Let's go be productive and do a workout. So this is, this is changing my vibes around, that's for sure. I need, I need to feel productive every day in some way for me to feel like I can be lazy after that. I got to earn my laziness. I can't be lazy and then earn it. <laughs> which I guess I did today, but uh, I did my warm up earlier this morning. So I, I think that's why I was more lazy. <laughs> and uh, dude, you finally quit RuneScape. Did you finish your checklist? No, I like finished half a checklist. And I mean, I say quit, I don't think it's forever, but I just feel like where I'm at right now, I need to like get more life things figured out before I spend all this time playing video games. So that's kind of, it's kind of where I'm at right now. I felt felt like I was just wasting my time playing video games so much. And uh, I, just, I wanted to get back in tune with the world. <laughs> so I did not finish the checklist, but I'm going to definitely come back to it when I feel like I'm in a better place in my life. Uh, a little more stability. So I, that's, I, I think that's where I'm at right now and why I felt the urge to, you know, I had like this other checklist that was like prep for my final checklist. 
that wasn't like really stream worthy that I finally did, but you know, it's, it all varies. It all varies in when I'll come back, but yeah, I got, I got to focus on the emotional and, uh, you know, what's going on in here a little bit more. Um, how does it feel being absolutely jacked? <laughs> I, I mean, I can't say I'm like absolutely jacked, but I'd say, you know, it, it feels good being in shape. <laughs> There, there's definitely some times when, you know, I don't think I treat my body well, and then <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, you gotta work this off. But I, you know, I appreciate I appreciate the sentiment, what you're getting at. <laughs> I don't know if it's uh, really any different. Like, you know, it's helpful to be, you know, in shape in the gym, but out of the gym, like, you know, we all sit on the couch watch Netflix the same way. <laughs> and what are you gonna do after you're done with gymnastics? Uh, either coach like elite level gymnasts or open up my own gym. Uh, it's about where I'm at right now. Um, haven't pulled the trigger on anything one way or the other, but this is where my mind's kind of at. All right, next, dumbbell flies. Gonna hit that RDL position. Slight knee bend, butt back, chest arched. 20 of them, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, then we're gonna do our palm down bicep curls. Two seconds on the way down. One, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, two, nine, one, two, ten. Woo! All right. All right. Oh. And, uh, Nod, you're kind of straight to do, not gonna lie. <laughs> I appreciate it. I, I definitely feel like I've been keeping in shape a lot better during this quarantine than I have in the past. But, yeah. I don't think I'm streaming on Twitch, so I'll give you a sh quick shred. Ugh! So there we go. We got, we got some shred going on. <laughs> We're staying in shape, at least. <laughs> I feel like I haven't publicly taken my shirt off in so long. Be honest, it's been kind of a weird barrier. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm so sorry. Um, Mooseys. <laughs> uh, hi again. Sorry you missed the stream. <laughs> well, that's all right. We got a good workout. It's logged on YouTube if you want to check it out more. So we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, you can check it out and finish it however you want. But glad you were able to catch the tail end of it at least. And save a lot better. In this point, team and I have in the past. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not sure quite what you mean by that, Ella Maurice. Uh, may, I, maybe I'm misreading it. And Nathan, would you say you use the greatest American gymnast ever just to go through our random question? No, I gotta give it to Paul Hom. I mean, Olympic gold medalist is <laughs> it's hard, a hard title to beat, <laughs> but I'm hoping that we can make it work. <laughs> we got naked bodies tonight, you missed it? That's all right. It was it. I got my flex check in there for Dylan right there. Or a Z. <laughs> there, there's my jackedness right there. And uh, Moose Easy. Ah, Moose Ease. Ah, there we go. I appreciate the correction. Thank you very much. Uh, but with that, guys, that's all I got for today. Uh, that was a pretty solid workout. I mean, uh, everyone, you know, go stretch out. Do what you got to do after this. Um, but I'm going to go fix myself up uh, a little bit of... I guess it's Lunner, Liner, whatever you call it. Uh, I'm going to make some pork, what is it, pork sesame bowls or something like that. So looking forward to that. Going to ice the elbow, get the rehab started. And, uh, yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Hope you have a